two main types of databases. There are essentially two main types of databases based on how they are adapted in organizations. Now, there are really many more than just two main types of databases. So this here is just one of the broad overviews of how they are actually used uh, in practice in organizations. And that's the operational versus the analytical databases. These DBs use the same or different technologies. So they may all use the same or similar technologies such as relational database or document database or graph databases, which we're not gonna really talk much about this. Uh, now we're gonna be focused on relational, but the difference here is how they are adopted by our organizations and how we conceive of them in an operational sense. An operational database is used to collect, modify, and maintain data on a daily basis. An analytical database used, is used to collect data that will be used for spotting trends that offer insights for tactical and strategic business decisions uh, most often. Analytical databases are often called data warehouse or data marts. So operational databases. Operational databases are commonly part of an enterprise's transaction processing system, online transaction processing, customer relationship management, supply chain management, or enterprise resource planning systems. So these are various types of uh, programs and softwares uh, which usually interact directly with an operational database. And once again, here's the image of all the different functions that add uh, information to the databases and often these because these are transactions, ongoing activities, they are probably being added to an operational database. Operational database store data as it is collected from point of sale systems, customer loyalty programs, social media signups, online registrations, cash registers, uh, online self check uh, or in person self checkout systems. Um, the data is typically dynamic, it changes constantly and reflects up to the minute information. Operational databases perform the following. They can collect and store the data, view the data, find data, update data, organize data, distribute data, move or remove data. So all sorts of uh, operations can be made on the data, on the operational databases. Analytical databases. Analytical databases commonly hold historical data copied from one or more transaction processing systems or from the operational databases themselves. Unlike operational databases though, the data in an analytical database is not being constantly updated. And that's one of the main defining differences. So it's relatively static. Because the data is, is historical, the information that can be inferred is like a snapshot of a point in time. And uh, once again, these are called data warehouse and data marts. And you may say, well, why is that useful? Well, it's useful because we can then analyze the data without having it being changed while we're doing analyses, while we're studying it, while we're visualizing the information in it. Here we have an example of a, of a di abstract diagram of how uh, it may work. So there will be databases like operational databases which receive the operations, the ongoing daily operations and have the stored information. Then there will be a process, a common process. The ETL stands for extract, transform, and load. And it's a standard uh, database terminology. It uh, essentially means that once we're transferring data from a database to a kind of data warehouse, an analytical database, we have to have computing language that extracts the data from the database, then there has to be usually a transformation to fit into the schema or the structure of the data warehouse. And then there are also specific commands or functions that need to load the data into the data warehouse. So it's just a standard um, uh, operation for transferring and moving data from uh, different places. So usually the data warehouse will take data from the operational databases. They can then be broken up into smaller data marts, but this is where the analytical databases uh, stand. 
Analytical databases store data that are used by analysts, executives, strategic planners, and others to examine business, organizational, and other metrics. Decision makers can access analytical database using something like a dashboard, like this one over here, which is a software for visually displaying query results in various ways. Because the analytical database are static, then it makes more sense to be used for an analysis. The analysis may take several days to carry out, and you want to make sure that things are not changing all the time. Otherwise, it's, it's kind of hard to do the analysis. Analytical database are used to analyze data and its relationships. So understanding averages, cells, areas with low values, areas with high values, time, um, times or dates where cells are higher, or people that can, um, people that cause often, customers that are often purchasing, customers that purchase less, regions of the country that have certain kinds of operations more than others and so on. It's used to find relationships and patterns using data mining or other kind of analytics. And you can use that to make predictions or learn about your data. That's it for this one. See you next time.